on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. Bob heads to Buchanan Shoals in North Carolina for some quail hunting. Joining Bob will be some special guests from Pennington Seed. Be sure to stay tuned for this and a whole lot more on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. I see you, Bob. Ooh. Beautiful shot. Well, don't lose that one. I, I, I bet lose it. That's the big. Oh. That's the big one of the day. Oh my goodness. This week's Shetty destination takes us to Buchanan Shoals, located in Old Sneedsboro, North Carolina. Buchanan Shoals offers 5,000 acres of property that offers hunts for all major wildlife species. Buchanan Shoals also offers freshwater fishing, camping, ATV riding, and other recreational activities. For more information on Buchanan Shoals, visit them online at www.buchananshoals.com. Well, folks, we're up at Buchanan Shoals up here, beautiful North Carolina, and joining me today is my gunners and my wingman on my right and left is Ronnie Stapp, the Executive Vice President for Seed at Pennington Seed out of Madison, Georgia, and the guy right here, the Vice President for Seed Production, Burton Hacker. Burton, Ronnie, listen, I tell you what, birds are flying here. If you didn't know that, you guys would think you was in your home state of Georgia. Yeah, right. it's beautiful. Well, you know, the one thing about it is I know you guys both love bird hunting, but you also, and listen, folks, these guys know seed. They know how to plant it. They know what it's supposed to look like. And I tell you what, that's why it's going to be great to have them on the show. we got some great action going to come your way. Bird hunting at its finest, and let's get to it. It's a beautiful piece of property and a beautiful day. Well, I'm just glad you guys could join me. And yeah, I'm telling you what, you know, you're shooting brownings, <laughs> the best there is. It can't get no better than that. Oh, right. let's go do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, Ronnie. Looks All like right. Jason. You know, now, now Jason Kiker here, the number one guy with the number one dogs here at Buchanan Shoals, has put us right here where we need to be this morning. Wouldn't do the mess. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, do you not love quail hunting? Absolutely. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't nothing better. We're ready. Woo! Down on the left. Here, here. Mm -mm -mm. Here. Okay, got to get reloaded, man. Get, get reloaded, Ronnie. Okay. Is this not a beautiful morning? Huh? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, woo. Oh, take him. Got him. Beautiful cubby rise there now. Ah, I tell you what, there's nothing, nothing more fun than bird hunting. Absolutely. Huh? Being Look at out that. in the woods on a beautiful day like this. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Nicely done. Nicely done. There's two more for the record books. And they just keep coming. Yeah. Let me see if I can't get reloaded here. All right, Odie's done his thing. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Nice run. Wow. Take it. Now, oh, look at that. Hoo hoo. Mm mm. Wow. All right. I think we better get reloaded. This whole cubby's in here just absolutely covering us up here. Okay, Ronnie. Looks like Jason's got us on some more birds here. Are you okay on the right? Absolutely. All right. Ready. Mm mm. Jason, you tell us when we're ready, bud. Yep, I think so. O Odie says it's my turn. Mmm, <laughs> down. Yeah, Odie's on him. That was a nice cubby rise right there now. Nice oh. cubby. Ooh. A lot of birds. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, they're still getting up. Look at him. Get him. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. I knew, I knew there was something about about you that I really loved with that brown and shotgun. I love it. Yeah. It's a good shooting gun. All right. Odie got it. If I wouldn't let it miss every once in a while. <laughs> well, you know, if, if you didn't miss one every now and then, it wouldn't be much fun. You wouldn't fun. appreciate the hits, yeah, Exactly. All right, guys. Oh, thank you. Good shot. Great shot. Mmm. Great shot. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm thinking that may be 
That may be that covey ride. I think, well, they must, I think they stayed all night here last night. The one right there. Damn. Yep. Yeah, dead bird. Out in the front. Yep. Stay tuned for more from Buchanan Shoals. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine brought to you by Penn. Penn, let the battle begin. By the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Nothing's fresher, nothing's finer. By South Carolina Association of Tourism Regions. And by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Let me get behind this tree. I always get behind that tree. All right, I'm ready. Odie says I'm coming. What we got, Odie? Odie's doing his thing. Ryan, have you hunted behind many flushing dogs? Not many flushing dogs. Yeah. That's kind of a new thing on the scene lately. Uh, yeah, and I tell you what, it, it really makes it, oh. I love it. Bodie's repositioned. I guess we're going to have to move up just a little bit. Odie, Bodie, and Bean, take it. Down, got him. Take it. Nicely done, nicely done, Ronnie. Woo! Yes, sir, Ree. Get reloaded. There got to be more in there. Got to be more. Nice covey ride. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo. Yep. All right, Odie. Talk to us. What we got in here, Bodie? Huh? Where are they? Finding birds, buddy. Finding birds. There you go. Hmm. You know, that may have been that part of that covey that we caught on the other side of the road. Oh, nope. I'm Mm. Ah, yeah, behind the tree. Oh, well. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that quail hunting segment with my good friend and wingman today, Ronnie Stapp from Pennington Seed. And now we're down in his stopping grounds, Madison, Georgia. We're at the Pennington Farm. And, Ronnie, listen, as always, I tell you what, you handled a mean shotgun, man. I tell you, it was <laughs> awesome. You know, That was an awesome day. Well, it was. And, and you know, the thing about it is, uh, on our show this week, it, it's all about Pennington. It's about wildlife forage products. It's about mm. outdoors and all that sort of thing. But, you know, I want to pick your brain just a little bit, and I want to talk about Pro Turf. I want to talk about that division of Central Garden and Pet and Pennington Seed, of which I know you're very proud of. But really, tell me about the Pro Turf side of Pennington. Well, I've been with Pennington Seed a long time, as you know, and I've, I've seen us grow from just a small company to being a dominant company in, in all types of turf grass. We, we produce many thousands of acres. And uh, Pro Turf is one of the main things that we enjoy being in because we produce some of the highest quality turf grass in the United States. We, we have a, a next-gen operation in uh, Oregon where we breed grasses for better color, better leaf width, and better uh, ability to be used as a playing surface as well as water conservation. And uh, you've seen our grasses on things like four Super Bowls that we were on, we were on several years ago. We're on a lot of uh, college stadiums now, uh, numerous high school stadiums across the country. It's just really good grass, and we really enjoy that. And we try to take that knowledge then that we get from pro and put it in the, into other segments of our grass seed business. Well, you know, Ronnie, too, and, and golf courses, uh, that's that's a big piece today is, as yeah. well, and, and you guys have, have been involved in that for years. Yeah. But, you know, one of the things that, that really is so heartwarming to see is y'all never stop researching. You, you're always developing new products, you're developing new ways to do things, uh, save water, save time, save money, and that's really what Pennington does uh, day in and day out. Well, this day and time, any business is the same way, and particularly this business, the grassy business for us, you got to bring innovation to it continually. 
And that's the reason we bought next gen and we pumped money into it to be sure that we're breeding the best grasses available anywhere, not only in the United States, but the world. Well, I tell you what, it, it is always a pleasure to be with you guys uh, here in beautiful Madison, Georgia. And, you know, just getting you out and getting behind a bird dog is always a pleasure, too. we got to do it yeah, again, my friend. That's great fun. I, I, that's where my heart is, is being out there behind bird dogs and just watching them work and, you know, seeing our plots out there. It's great. Absolutely. Well, Ronnie, thank you so much. And, folks, Bye. I just want you to remember one thought. Better research, better seed, produces better results. And if you want to know more about Pennington Seed and all their great products, log on to their website at PenningtonSeed.com. Stay tuned for more from Buchanan Shoals. But when we come back, a great watermelon recipe on this week's Sportsman's Table. The Sportsman's Table, brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. By South Carolina, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer. Folks, joining me today is my guest, is Chef Frank Lee from the Old Village Post House over in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, with a great recipe. You need to pay attention to this. Frank, listen, tell us what we got going on today, because I am really excited about this one. Well, Bob, we're excited to have you here. Welcome back to Charleston. Oh, wow. What we have to match this heat wave that we're having, and this, uh, it's always hot in Charleston in the summer, is a beautiful gazpacho, but this one's got a twist. This one we're going to feature a watermelon gazpacho with just a hint of tomato and all local ingredients. So we're real excited about this. This is a dish you can do at home quite easily, and it's delicious, and it's unusual, and it'll really cool you down. Bob, we're going to start with sherry wine vinegar. Okay. Great. And then we're going to add just a little bit of sugar. We got uh, a half a cup of sugar, but you could use less if your watermelon is super sweet. Yeah. And we just got a little bit of canned tomato juice. You could use tomato paste and water if oh, you awesome. want. This is going to help fix the color, keep yeah. it nice and red. Great. We just want to dissolve that. Okay. Now we have the watermelon juice. Very simple. We just took seeded watermelon, put it in a blender, blended it up. Watermelon juice. Wow. Now look at that color. Now you're mm -hmm. talking. Yeah, it smells great too. We took the, the heart of the watermelon, really sweet, just cubed it up, super easy. Mm. Then we uh, have this beautiful cantaloupe, all local ingredients here this time of year. The cantaloupe, we pushed through a little Japanese mandolin and cut it to uh, julienne and then gave a nice even dice. Mm. Now look at that. Now you could also use yellow tomatoes if you like. Oh yeah. But the cantaloupe is so sweet right now. And cucumber, and cucumber always cools you off. And really they're all in the melon family. The right. Cucumbers and the melon and the uh, cantaloupe. And we're gonna give it a little bit of dice bell pepper. Again, okay. that's uh, something that survives our summer heat down here. The bell pepper. And you let that sit for maybe 30 minutes in the cooler. A little bit of salt, maybe uh, two teaspoons for this recipe, and look at the colors on that. Mm, look at look at the texture, Frank. and that it is will awesome. really chill you down. Another thing that's so beautiful about this dish is how it looks in the bowl. Oh, it's awesome! Look yeah. at that color. Look mm -hmm. at those uh, beautiful bright flavors. You can just imagine that cooling you down in the heat of the day. Absolutely! Wow. Hey, Bob, the final step is the garnish. And you can use uh, basil or mint, but today we've got some basil straight from the garden. Wow. And a little bit of this wonderful California olive oil, which we've been using for years Absolutely. in our restaurants. Yeah. We really enjoyed the quality of it. And you take that and you're done. That's a summer afternoon on the veranda. You're chilling. Well, Frank, thanks so much for being my guest today. We really appreciate it. And Thank you. Something for you to take back from our good friends at Olinda Olive Oil. Fantastic. Bon Appetit. And we appreciate it very much. And thank you for joining us in Charleston again. Oh, you're welcome. And folks, listen, if you'd like more recipes or a wonderful dining experience, stop by the Old Village Post House in Mount Pleasant. And I tell you what, you won't regret that. Or log on to their website at maverickSouthernKitchens.com. And remember, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer until it's certified South Carolina. Log on to their website at CertifiedSCGrown.com and see for yourself. If you would like to have this recipe and others featured on this program, visit our website at www.bobredfern.com.
Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, brought to you by Chevrolet and Chevy Trucks, still America's best-built truck, by Fennington Seed, the leader in wildlife forage products, and by Browning, Browning, the best there is, and by the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. Myrtle Beach, this is the place. Buchanan Shoals offers the outdoorsman a wide variety of outdoor activities, hunting all major species in the southeast, plus enough property for camping, hiking, and ATV riding. Be sure to visit them online for more information. And for other outdoor locations like Buchanan Shoals, be sure to visit Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. All right, folks, you've noticed I've got a new wingman up here, Burton Hacker now. Come on, Burton, you've got to uphold the shoot, shooting Just honor. Keep the camera trained right here. <laughs> I'm ready. Come on. Woo! Ah, two for two. Woo! That's a beautiful covey rise right there now. Mm -mm. What are you thinking, Odie? Woo! Oh, what a covey rise there. I got two down. There he goes. Woo! Ah, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? As I always like to sing that song, Burton, they think I'm working, but I ain't, but I ain't. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, this is, this is some tough stuff. What are you thinking, Bodie? Huh? Find him birds in there, buddy. Find him birds. That's a good dog. Good dog. Good dog. I tell you, the wind's just perfect, too. This is awesome. Oh, here we go. Now we got them trapped. <laughs> Woo! Now, if I can just do my job, take them. Down. I gotta tell you, that was a tough shot right there. Woo, man. I couldn't tell if it was the sorghum top or the bird. <laughs> man. Yeah. Woo! We got more in here. Ah, yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, just fast I can get reloaded up comes more. Burton, I'm sorry, man. You, <laughs> I'm enjoying watching. <laughs> Goodness. Woo. Man. Okay, I think we're going to have to slide right here a little bit. There you go. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah. There goes another one. Oh, there's more. What do you think of Bean? What do you think of Bean? Mm, mm, mm. There he goes. Hey. There goes another one. Woo. <laughs> they just keep coming. Well, it's always a great opportunity to have a good wingman when you're on a bird hunt. And I've had the opportunity to hunt with Burton Hacker and his dad over the years. And when I get a chance, I always got to have him at my side looking over some bird dogs. You know, Burton, I want to talk, though, uh, wildlife forage products. Uh, I know you're uh, the vice president for seed production here in Madison. Um, you know, Pennington is known for, again, as I always like to say, better research, better seed, and better wildlife results when you use it. And, and you know, I know a lot of folks would say, well, that's just kind of a corny little phrase, but you know it's truth. You guys do more research and more development than, than any of the companies that I know, not only just on the forage side, but also on the grass seed and all the other products. I mean, that's how you get this. That's exactly right. You know, we're we're fortunate at Pennington to have a, a whole lot of acres to be able to to plant and use the products that we expect the consumers to buy from us so we know they work but on the flip side of that is you know we do our own research we plant the stuff that we want the consumers to use so we know they work but the the proprietary products that we put into our mixes like the Durana Clover and the Patriot product uh, Patriot Clover. Absolutely. They are researched by independent universities, you know, and uh, to me, we do our own research and that's great, but it lends more credibility when you have third-party research confirming what you 
what you know. Well, uh, let me <clears> specifically <throat> pick your brain just a little bit for all the folks out there. You know, I, I've used all these products for years. Uh, but more specifically, let's talk just about Rackmaster Elite and, of course, the Durana Clover because, again, those are kind of the two mainstays. So whether you're a novice like me or you're a veteran uh, trying to put in food plots year after year, those two products are really hard to beat. Well, Rackmaster Elite was built around Durana Clover. That is the the, the benchmark of our food plot line. Rackmaster Elite is a, is a uh, annual and a perennial mix. So when you plant the, the, the product in the fall, you have the annuals that come up quick, give you a good pot, food plot for the fall, a good harvest plot, but the Duran and the Patriot Clovers are in that mix. So when the, the annuals die, when it comes spring and the annuals grow up and get leggy and they die because it turns warm, then that food plot converts over to those perennials, which is the Duran and Patriot, and will convert over to a permanent food plot, and that's what it was designed to do. Well, and, and the production side of this, I mean, you guys never stop. I mean, it's a year-round thing. I mean, you guys are constantly bringing in those products and seeds. You're, you're mixing them, you're bagging them, and then you're moving them back out to over 16,000 dealers and growing across the country. That's so exactly right. I, I, it's just, it's, a, it's an awesome, awesome company. It's just, you know, I can't say enough about the relationship that I've had, but also the results that I get wherever I am and Pennington is present, I always have good w results in the wildlife. So is with that, it's always a pleasure to be behind them bird My dogs pleasure. with you. And, and you know, folks, I tell you what, here from Madison, Georgia down at Pennington Seed, it's just a great opportunity again for me to come and showcase what all the wonderful folks at not only Pennington Seed, but Central Garden and Pet do for the guys that love the outdoors. And hey, for all y'all that are growing grass seed in your front and backyard, that too, the pro turf, it's a big piece of what these guys do, and they do it, again, better research, better seed, and better results, not only in your backyard, but also out in the wildlife. Well, I'd like to thank Ronnie Stapp, Burton Hacker for being on the show this week, and all the folks up at Buchanan Shoals. It was an awesome quail hunt. And as always, I love being behind those bird dogs, but even though we gotta go this week, as I always say, the outdoors is my passion. I hope it'll be yours too. We'll see you next time on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine.